on the agenda tonight is uh, we have a hearing for Steve Perio on the Five Railroad Avenue, and we have two continuing hearings for Ocean Avenue and Wethersfield Street, case number 1807 and case number 1805. Now, I'm going to take these out of order because uh, there's no sense in having people sit around waiting for something unless okay so I have here a letter from the me Tolman in Costa LLC Attorneys of Law. I uh, address to Donald Thurston, Chairman, Zoning Board of Appeals, 39 Central Street, Raleigh. Regarding 121 Wethersfield Street, Raleigh, Mass, North Shore, and Montessori School, request to continue hearing on application for special permit pursuant to Raleigh Protective Zoning Bylaws, Section 5.2.1, now scheduled for March 15th. Dear Chairman Thurston, members of the board, references made to the above captioned matter. In that connection, this firm represents North Shore Montessori School Incorporated, the less of, of 121 Wethersfield Street. North Shore seeks to continue the hearing now scheduled for March 15, 2018 to the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting to April 19, 2018. North Shore is revising its application for site plan review with the Town of Rowley Planning Board after receipt of peer review comments and discussions with Town staff and the Planning Board peer review engineer. Due to these revisions, a hearing has not yet been held by the Planning Board on North Shore's application. A hearing should be held and a decision should issue on North Shore's site plan application before the April 19, 2018 meeting. For this reason, North Shore respectfully requests that this board continue the hearing on this matter until that date. Respectfully submitted by Lisa Mead, attorney. And then we'll hear a motion to continue this. So moved. Motion to made. Second. Tim Collier, uh, this is case number 1807. 1807. We'll be making a ZBA meeting tomorrow. Hi Lisa, I apologize for the delay in notification. I'd like to request for a continuance as my attorney has applied for multiple permits regarding the property for septic test and solution with the health department. Thank you, Tim Collier. Okay. You have to put a date down. That's all right. We will continue to April. Right. April 19th? Mm -hmm. April 19th. I make motion to accept the request. Second. Second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so if anybody is here tonight that's interested in those two applications, uh, feel free to go. You can stay if you want. Uh, <coughs> you also should have a withdrawal, mm -hmm. the Smith withdrawal. Uh, see if there's a big left. Let's see if it's in here. <clears throat> Let's see if it's in here. I don't see it. I don't see it. She told me it was 
it's in my packet. Oh, look in your packet then. Actually put it in your packet. It's probably in there. But I didn't find another packet in there. Well, the wife, what she normally gives me. She owed it to us from the last meeting because she never appeared. Oh, 1809. Yeah. I see. Well, that's the one. Remember, that's the, that's the one where the property was sold. I don't see. Yeah. It. I don't see it here. All right, well, we'll have to address it the next meeting, I guess. We'll have to address that next month. hearing tonight from uh, Steve Pier Piero. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, asking for a special permit. Uh, so I'm hoping public hearing. Public hearing will proceed in orderly fashion. I ask for cooperation in the following procedure. Everyone present will be given an opportunity to be heard after the application has been presented and the board members have asked questions. This hearing is being videotaped, audio, video and audio taped. Therefore, when you address the board, please state your name and address. Speak slowly, audibly, and clearly. And I'll try to have only one person speak at a time. The purpose of this hearing is for the board to hear and consider the pertinent facts relating to the application and to approve the conditions or deny. Before hearing from the public, the applicant will be allowed to present their case and then the board members shall ask questions and comments. Does any member of this board feel in a conflict of interest? No. No. public hearing for this application was posted in the town hall, sent to a certified list of parties and interest, and was published in the town hall commons on February 28, 2018 and March 7, 2018, and reads as follows. Case number 18.10. A public hearing will be held at the town hall annex 39 Central Street on Thursday, March 15, 2018 at 7.10 p.m to act on an application received February 15, 2018 from Steve Piero, the applicant, is seeking a special permit from the requirements of the Raleigh Protector Zoning Bylaw Section 5.2.1 and Section 6.1.3.1 for the expansion or change of a non-conformant use and setback requirement. The property is located at the Five Railroad Avenue in the Outlying District and is shown on the census map 27, Block 120, Block 122. At the public hearing, members 
of the public may ask questions and present evidence that supports either their approval or denial of this petition. The applicant application is as follows. Steve Curiello, 5 Railroad Avenue, Raleigh, Mass. Telephone number 978-948-2626. And cell 978-314-4747. He is the owner of the property. And the special permit for requirements of section 5.2.1 and section 6.1.3.1 of the Raleigh Protective Zoning Bylaw. Showing assessor's map 27, block 122. It is in the outline district. Premises of the overlay district are none. And the deed is recorded in Registry of Deeds District in book number 22290, page 602. And uh, as a previous variance, a special permit or other zoning relief ever been requested. He's got hit, checked off, you know. Description of the proposed work and other use. Partial teardown and rebuild of existing restaurant addition to front of existing building. The reasons for this application is the expansion or change of non-conforming use, exceptions to setback requirements. And those are signed by Steve Piero on February, on February 12, 2018. <coughs> he has all the licensing Clearance forms from the town. <coughs> and a copy of this deed. Uh, any questions so far? No. Okay. All right, Steve, you have the floor. Tell us what's going to do. Hello, my name is uh, Bill Nolan from Savoy Nolan Architects. I'm representing Steve. Um, today with us is Steve Pierre, the owner. Uh, Mike Cervoni works in my office, uh, and Steve's son. Um, I'm going to do the presentation. I'll set it up here. Is that okay? That's okay. fine. Great. I'm going to run you through the project, and then um, you have to answer any questions. <laughs> Anybody see? No. Decent. I'm going to kind of be in your way, or I'm going to block them. I'm sorry. Um, so this is the existing uh, uh, site plan of the uh, proposed American barbecue on Five River Path. That's the restaurant that, that's in question here. Um, we're proposing to tear down this portion of the building highlighted in pink right here. Um, it's somewhat in uh, disrepair. The construction's not the, the highest quality. Uh, it's got some uh, signs of wear and tear. The floor is uh, kind of unstable and um, it's not. It's hard to keep insulated properly. Uh, so we're proposing to tear that down, which cons uh, consists of a kind of a function room uh, and the entry, the existing entry. This is the proposed site plan here. Um, we're proposing to tear down this piece right here and rebuild it in kind. Okay? Uh, this is the light gray hatch in this area right here. Um, the proposed work, I'm sorry, the proposed work um, uh, in addition is this darker gray band here. Uh, which is on the front of the building and on that side that we're tearing down. Um, we're here because it's an existing non-conforming use. Um, it's not zoned for a restaurant use. Um, we're intending it to stay a restaurant use. The purpose of the, pro uh, the renovation is to um, add a bar to the project. Um, this piece right here, there's an existing building, um, and I just want to point out that this corner of it, uh, sorry, this is the front, this is the side setback, and this is the rear. Um, 
uh, based on the uh, dimension of table requirements, uh, the front is 50 feet, sides 15, and rear is 15. Um, unfortunately, we've got this kind of kink in the, in the property line on the side that uh, causes us to have uh, a little bit of a, um, uh, a non-conforming setback issue uh, based on the existing footprint. Uh, our, pr our proposal is maintaining that, so we are tearing it down and building a new building, um, but we're going to maintain that corner, so we're not going to increase that nonconformity in, in, in any way. The proposed building that's going out in front of it, and I can show you what this is going to look like um, on the next page. The proposed building in this dark gray here uh, is, is moving forward uh, and will observe the 15-foot side setback. Uh, however, we are going um, forward a little bit, and um, based on the property line here, we are encroaching upon the 50-foot front setback, okay, with this new building here. How much? Um, uh, we have, at its closest point, uh, we go 38.6, okay, so in, instead of 50, it's 38.6. But I'd also like to point out, um, this is based off of uh, a site plan that was done by uh, Donahoe and Parkhurst. Um, the, the front property line is, is offset from the road uh, a significant amount. And the setback from the, the road, which part of it isn't um, technically the Piero's property, uh, is 63. So the, the setback from the road is 63 feet. The setback from the property line uh, at its closest point is 38.6. Um, in addition to the new um, um, the new uh, proposal here. Uh, I, I already mentioned that it's going to observe the uh, side setback, so we're not increasing that conformity at all. We are just increasing the front conformity. It's a single story structure. Uh, we're going to be well within the, um, with the height limitations. And I think the only other non conformity, <coughs> well, there are two, is the lot area, which obviously is what it is. Um, it's required to be 60,000, and we're at um, just north of 28,000. And as a result, the lot perimeter line, which uh, re which is required for a new lot, to be uh, 50, roughly 1,500 feet, um, we're at 738. Neither of those are changing. Um, the lot is what it is, and, and uh, uh, we're not changing that. Um, in addition to the new uh, structure that we're building there, we're also using it as an opportunity to increase the uh, handicap accessibility to the restaurant. They, it currently is handicap accessible, but the ramp is kind of starting to fall into disrepair too. So this is a good opportunity to kind of um, 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 make the entrance of the, the, uh, the place nicer. Um, two other things that we're um, considering in this proposal, we'd like, like you to consider in this proposal, is the addition of a front um, kind of porch here or a deck. It will be uh, with no roof on top of it, and it would just serve... Uh, as uh, the potential for somebody to take their food outside in the nicer weather. Um, this is the, their existing dining room area right here. And then the last component of it is no built structure, but um, there, this is a semi-fenced area right now. We're proposing to put a nicer stockade type fence there and create kind of an outdoor space that's accessed outside the building and um, kind of contains this area here. And they're thinking about putting um, you know, some games like uh, cornhole, uh, um, things like that, and uh, uh, potentially um, some activities out there, outdoor activities out there. Um, there won't be any fixed seating there. It'll just kind of be like a, a backyard type thing, and it'll be fully contained. Um, so those are, uh, in a nutshell, what we're looking to achieve in this proposal. I have with us, uh, <coughs> these are schematic floor plans um, of the proposed new entry. Uh, vestibule. Um, there will be a reception area and uh, the new bar with some additional seating in here. The exterior courtyard and uh, this, this front porch piece right here. Uh, there will be a handicap accessible ramp up to a vestibule. There will be an airlock in the vestibule to help us with um, maintaining the heat, uh, making it more energy efficient. And this would be all new structure here. Um, they also would like to take advantage of the fact that this is going to be a new structure and put a basement. This is an existing, um, I use the word slab on grade loosely because I don't think there's a slab there. I think it's just some posts, uh, hopefully on some type of a footing, but I couldn't guarantee that. And, um, you know, it, it's not the best construction, so we're looking to remedy that. 
and take advantage of um, the ability to put a basement, a full basement underneath that, which will help us uh, create more storage and it'll also help us create a more um, uh, energy efficient building, more comfortable building. Um, the increased storage is something that they desperately need in a restaurant, but it'll also help us remove some of the um, uh, trailers. There's, a, there's at least one trailer outside that we're hoping to um, get rid of and, and move that the continent the contents uh, into into this uh, this basement area here. Um, so it's a I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have ever been to the American Barbecue. It's got a nice aesthetic inside of it. It's got that country uh, feeling to it, and they're looking to maintain that. Um, so we're looking to uh, this is the addition here. Um, the main roof of the volume is is being slightly increased. Um, but we're going to be about uh, 18 feet, which is well below the 35 height limitation. So it's a really modest, um, with regards to height, it's a really modest uh, addition to it. And then we're proposing kind of this fun um, silo here to kind of keep that aesthetic going, uh, which would stick up, depending on the, 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 the actual unit that we get, we're anticipating it, it not more than 5 feet, which uh, if you added that onto the 18 feet, we're at 23 feet, we're still... 10 feet below um, the 35 height, height regulation, so we're confident that we won't we won't encroach upon that at all. Um, this is the existing portion of the building here that's going to remain. Um, from here over will be uh, new. That's the new entry, and that's the new wing built on there. This is the uh, looking at it from this side right here. So this is largely um, this piece right here and this piece right here are existing. This would be the new roof. Um, we're looking at um, the idea of a red metal metal roof, um, just to kind of give it uh, um, some street presence, so that, that you know that it's you're going to the restaurant. Um, this uh, elevation right here is looking from this direction, looking from this direction here. Um, uh, that way. We've taken away the fence, so there would be a fence here if you're looking at it from the, the neighbor's property. Um, a lot of glass, and you can see the, the height. And this is the back of the building, which is, uh, um, I'm sorry, reverse that. This yeah, is the back good. of the building. This is that, that, that side that I was looking at. Um, so I think that's pretty much the extent of what we're looking to accomplish. I'd be happy to answer any questions. I do have some existing um, photographs of the building, if it helps for the context. This is uh, the existing building as it stands. And as you can see, um, this roof right here gains some, some height, but really that's, that's about it. Um, everything else stays pretty much um, the way that, it's, that it is now. Um, I've got some closer images here, and I've got one of the street that kind of shows the street. You may have, I may have to bring it to the bench a little bit, but you can see how far the street is from the, the, the setback. So you're talking about in the neighborhood of uh, like 12 feet that the property is set back from the actual street you know, in, in, in its closest area. Um, I also have, if you look at some of these images here, it kind of shows the building is in somewhat disrepair. And there's an interior. So I don't want to cover here. No, I also have a business card if you would like me to drop that off. Well, what, is, what is the seating capacity presently? So the seating capaci uh, capacity presently is uh, 92, I believe. And then we, we went through, um, Chuck Johnson um, uh, appealed the, and I, I'm probably going to butcher this because this isn't really my area of expertise, <clears throat> appealed to the, to the town. Uh, and the Board of Health and got approved for 125 uh, seats. Um, so our, our seating is increased. We did uh, go through the process of, through the Board of Health to, um, to upgrade that. State. Yeah. State. state. State and, and town law. Yeah. 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 Uh, here's my card too. 
Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. All right. So the current seating is what 125. Yes, as of now, it's it's 125 because we got approval for that. That's I, I don't believe that's this board. Um, we got approval from the yeah. town of or the uh, the board of health first, the state, and then the, the the board of health. Okay, so 125. Does this application affect the seating capacity in any way? Uh, no, we're gonna uh, the seating capacity is based off the septic <coughs> design, and that's what we're call, that's what we're saying it as that. That's what it's going to be. Okay, now th this is for the record, I mean, so that yeah. everybody understands when you say 125, it's, it, you're not seeking to increase that. Uh, right, okay. right. That's set by the, the septic system, the right. existing septic system that's going to remain. Uh, we, we, did, we already got that through the state, got that bumped up to 125. We have no, uh, our, the, these plans are not uh, looking to add to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the, one of the questions that... Uh, uh, in the bylaw is uh, the amount of increase of 25 percent and to me it looks like uh, you're not increasing it uh, much more than we're close to the 25 percent just we're just under yep you are under yep yeah I think uh, Mike you did the calculation and you were 24 is it on there now we're gonna 36.50 yeah. currently. Which puts us at just under 24. Uh, just over 24 percent. Okay. As I recall, and I'm trying to find your original drawings here, on, on that calculation, we've got some gross numbers. Um, I, I, I would like to have a little more accurate calculation of that number because you're so close to 25 percent that it's arguable that two years from now when nobody's here who's standing here now they would come back and say where did they come up with that number just because you wrote it's 3627 square feet and you say it's 24 percent so is there is there somewhere because I don't see any actual dimensions on the structure I just see it as I recall, you know, a rough number saying that it was that. Is that something you could provide us with? Uh, I mean, we could certainly put more you know, dimensions, some dimensions? On, on the plan so you could do your own math. The way that we do it is we draw, uh, we did the existing conditions, we measure, measured the existing building. We do have, this is all to scale, we right. draw uh, a perimeter around there. And uh, that, that gives us our square footage calculations. The gross, if I'm not mistaken, will be, um, I mean, there's, there's gross and there's net. The gross will be the larger of the two numbers. Um, yes. Yeah, so that's why we use gross. Um, and that's why, I know we, we understand that we're close, but that is the, the highest total that we'll get. Uh, yeah, I'm, I yeah. am not quite, I'm yeah. not really questioning the number that you have, sure. I just want to be able to see how you can actually point to it, as opposed to simply, you know, when you say this is the number that I used, um, when, when since our bylaw is so specific yeah. about that 25% increase, you know, if you're, I'd rather you not be found to be a 28% because in construction you start changing something because it makes practical sense to do so. Okay. And I, it would be nice if the board could simply have an <coughs> updated drawing that simply shows the existing footprint and gives us the dimensions around it. Uh, you don't have to change your calculations, but if we want to be able to calculate them, at least we have numbers to point to. Okay. That's, that's my only request. I'm sure. Thinking. Yep. Um, it, it, in the interest of uh, um, saving some time, is it possible to put that as a condition that sure. do not exceed the, the yeah, 25? Yeah. Absolutely. It, it's not our intention to exceed that 25. Um, and uh, <coughs> if there was a miscalculation or something like that, we would adjust it to be under that 25. Yeah, no, it, it would be written most likely as a condition. We would prefer to see it up front because yep. if it creates a problem, then it creates a bigger problem for you down the road. Yeah, understood. understood. You know, as opposed to having it now. Um, the, the, the planning department thought hard and long about that particular parameter, and there was a lot of thought, and it has to go before t uh, town meeting and everything. So, I, you know, understood. we tend not like to say, mm, it's close, it's okay. Yeah. 
Uh, so I, I used to sit on the Danvers uh, zoning board uh, for, for three years, so I, I understand. You know. Sorry for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can tell, right? You can see the pain and anguish on my face. <laughs> Just, you know what, I don't have that bylaw for the, the what, where's the 25% because here I'm wondering whether or not it's affected by the um, outdoor seating capacity. I don't think so. Read it. I don't, we're not planning on putting <coughs> outdoor seating out there. It's not f to, to create more seating. It's right. actually for the patrons that are there. It, it's going to be more of like a game center. So they're, I think they're looking to do cornhole uh, and perhaps... Uh, uh, well, this is the one to the left, correct? The porch, left mm -hmm. front? Mm -hmm. Oh, the porch, yeah. 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 Uh, and again, that's, that's going to be completely enclosed and it, it, it's not intended to be additional seating. It's intended to be on nice days. They can take their food and go outside. Is it um, existing or, or non-existing square footage? There's a there's a ramp there existing right now. Square footage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. There's an existing yeah. ramp there now. And a flower bed. And, yeah. Did the so state it sounds like it's increasing. That that's that also is increased square footage. Now. The question is if it's not enclosed, does it count here? Yeah. I, it's I, not enclosed, and based on um, what I read in the bylaws, it didn't seem to count. Um, I'm not sure that it's a huge component to this. We wanted to put it in because uh, we talked about the idea, but um, it's also something that we could pull back from if, if that's going to add and contribute to that 25% or going to create some issues with, this, with the additional seating. The seating is going to be a posted occupancy, so it won't right. exceed 20, uh, 125. So we, they won't exceed the capacity of 125. Well, will, will your... Um, will your 125 seating capacity be determined by hard seating capacity inside the structure? Because I think Bob's question turns to, that's fine, you're approved for 125 and you've got a bar and, and, and whatnot for 125. Are you going to have seating outside for another 20? And does that increase seating capacity on the site, technically speaking? Right. Because I come there and you say, Tom, it's a beautiful night. I don't have any seating. No problem. I'll sit out front. Okay, well, now that's active seating. Understood. Is yes. that or not the case? Uh, it, well, it won't be the case. Uh, and uh, so the way that the building code kind of determines the seating and occupancy, and they, they leave... Um, um, they leave some dis discretion to the to the building inspector, but there are pass passages in there that allow for a posted occupancy, which is what I think we're aiming to do, yeah. um, and posting the occupancy at 125 and kind of capping it at, at that. So there may be additional places to seat. Right. Um, we want to be able to fit the 125 in the building in, in inclement weather and in the winter, right. but in the summertime, offer them the ability to maybe go outside, play cornhole, or sit on the the porch and eat their food. Yeah. So that's the intent. Um, I'm sure that the PROs will, will work with the, with the with the town and, and as a way to legislate it. But okay. yeah, the the way that I've seen it done is posting the audience. <coughs> uh, there's a plaque on there that says there's a 125 limit. Um, that's how they do it. Yeah. No. 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 It's. Uh, what about parking? Is there any impact your parking? Do you change any of the parking? Is the parking plan here the, the existing parking plan? Yep. Um, th this is the existing parking plan and the proposed parking plan. Um, we're trying to maximize. It's tight. It's a tight um, site for for you know restaurant. Um, so we've maximized what we can uh, in terms of parking spaces. I think we've uh, proposed uh, an additional seven parking spaces. Um, and then um, some some spaces for motorcycles or bikes or, or, or things like that off to the side. Um, I was playing around with this uh, uh, later. I, I'm, I, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but are are, are you um, looking at parking requirements as part of, of your okay? And that's fine. I know I, I know it comes up, and I'm, I was prepared to address it. I was looking at this for the planning department when we when we go before there, and I was able to. 
um, uh, pick up maybe a couple additional spaces over here, but it's not technically his property, so I, I wanted to kind of keep that in my back pocket. But we are proposing to maximize and, and uh, to some extent make it a little easier to manip, you know, move cars around here, and we found an additional seven spots. Um, the total is, is, there's an existing 33, 36 spaces, and we're proposing to bump that up to 43. The required parking space is based on our occupancy of 125 or the 92. 125 would be 73, so we're under that. Um, um, in its infinite wisdom, though, Raleigh has a added a, a, a clause in, in the bylaws that allow um, the owner to have some input on that. And if it's, um, uh, if they feel like the, it's an excess at 73, um, they can talk it over with the with the town planning board and. Uh, I believe it's the planning board um, and negotiate you know the, the right amount there um, so that's where we're at in terms of parking we've done our best to, to add as many spots as, as they can <clears throat> yeah the, the reason I ask is generally speaking what we find in lots like this that have a fairly dense use mm -hmm. but are undersized um, that uh, issues of access and safety are our are, are neighbor's biggest concern. Sure. Because a popular restaurant with good history, a lot of people come and go, um, you're making it more attractive. Um, you're making it more uh, interesting for me to go there more than once a week. Um, talk to me about your, your, in, your egress uh, in and out of the site. Uh, we do have a letter from the fire department, which you may have seen, which doesn't really express any concern other than if there's any gating that prevents access that they have an opportunity to get through there. There are tight spots. I myself have, have been to the restaurant and if you get in the back and there are some idiots who don't park as intelligently as they could, it takes a lot of extra work just to get out of there. That's asking a lot. To, uh, to, <laughs> uh, I know you don't have control of that, uh, but um, it, but it's an element of safety and access. So talk about that a little bit. Yeah, sure. So I, I think uh, we weren't proposing any gates. Um, uh, we would only use gates or fences to kind of screen, um, you know, unsightly parking and, and things from from other neighborhoods. The neighborhood really doesn't warrant that. First off, and, and second off. Uh, the majority of the parking is kind of actually behind the, the restaurant anyways, which right. works kind of in our favor. So I think we're, we're actually more keeping it as open as possible. And um, the one benefit that this does have is multiple access points. Um, there's a access through here, access through here, and Steve, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a one-way um, circle. One yeah. Way. yeah, so you can only pull in, get in back here, and then you leave here. Uh, and then for this parking area, there's this circle here. Um, it's tight. It's tighter than I'd like to be um, working with the, the size of the, uh, the, uh, the lot. Uh, we did do our traffic um, circles, it's, and I won't sugarcoat it. It's tight, but it, it's manageable. We'll get it in there. Might have to do a three-point turn um, to get into a couple of those. And um, if you can figure out a way how to, how to prevent idiocy, let me know, because uh, we'll make millions. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> is that yeah no that's fine thanks yeah, yeah no, okay all right i said at the beginning that everybody here got any more questions at this S point excuse me mr chair I'm, I'm sorry i forgot to mention one thing uh, is it okay yeah. yeah um so uh steve actually um went around to his adjacent neighbors and and uh presented on this so that they didn't see it for the first time tonight um, and, and we also uh, gave them a letter um, uh, and it asked them if they would sign it uh, in, in, um, uh, in support, yeah, thank you, <laughs> sorry, in support of the project. So we have five uh, of the adjacent neighbors here signed. Fortunately, uh, this is our only copy, so mm -hmm. I can leave it with you and then come back and make copies, or I can make copies and send it to you, however you want to do it. Uh, we can make coffee. We can make okay. Coffee. All right. So there are letters from six railroad ave, eight railroad ave, two railroad ave, uh, seven and three fifty seven Main Street, all in support of the project. And I think. Uh, and if you 
here uh, and sign this? No. Nope. I did. You did? Yep. Okay. I didn't. Okay. I live across the street, 8, eight Railroad Ave. Okay. <clears throat> My father, Francis, is on apparently recuperating from the operation. He could not be here tonight. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to speak? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> I am Robert Kilgore. I reside at 9 Railroad Avenue. And again, in this case, as Steve Piero purchased the property of 5 Railroad Avenue, formerly known as the East End Restaurant, he presented this board along with surrounding neighbors his intention and proposals for what was to become the American Barbecue. From this meeting, some concerns and objections were presented. Such concerns were addressed, all compromises were presented. Mr. Piero insisted that all matters will be met and his proposals will be kept. I stand here today and inform the Board of, board of Appeals that, that with much satisfaction that Steve Piero, his wife and son, had not only met, but had exceeded my expectations. The priority of the room has been well maintained by him and been kept clean as much as possible. The building has not only been maintained, but much needed repairs and upgrades have been made due to the previous owner's neglect and workmanship, which, is, uh, which currently have been talked about. Now, Mr. Piero has been a curious and neighborly to myself and my dad, and has been straightforward and transparent with changes and additions he had been making with no objections from me. His health and staff have been fairly and neighborly towards me, and I have had no issues from his customers either. And I'm sure you're aware the American Barbecue has been good public, good public relations for, for the town of Raleigh, with its award-winning menu, and that has been recognized by the Film Gourmet and North Shore Magazine, and even a movie was filmed there. Uh, Ms. Piero has shown me his plans ex uh, of his existing property. It is to my opinion that this expansion will continue to improve the integrity of the present building and better access for the customers. Therefore, it is to my opinion and judgment before this board that I accept and approve the changes of the expansion of American Barbecue with no objection. And I submit to this board a copy of this letter and testimony of the statement of record and that this statement is accurate as possible to my knowledge. And I have signed the date that I present for evidence to the board. Please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. My name is Catherine Barrett Haley. I'm here to represent my elderly mom. We have but um, in the back of the property. Um, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Um, we have not had the pleasure of a visit or any public information has been shared with our family. I have been in touch with the town through the week and I thought that this information was going to be posted on the website and it hasn't been. So this is kind of like a surprise to me and to my mom. And I'm sure there are other neighbors on the street that are probably not even aware that this is going on. Uh, for that reason alone, I don't think any decision should be made tonight because I don't think enough of the public has been informed. What is the information about the posting? I haven't even seen the agenda for tonight. I've just gone, I've just come here because of the letter I received in the mail. Yeah, no, it should, it actually, it should have been posted in the town common for the last two weeks. two weeks. Yeah, but, you know, many people don't receive the town common, and I've been in touch. I've requested the information I, I, I'm not disputing your yeah, absence I know. of knowledge. Right. All I'm saying is that the, 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 the board, like the other boards, mm -hmm. are legally required to post in a local mm -hmm. paper, and that's the way we, we do it. Mm -hmm. So you may not have seen it. Other people may not have seen it. But it has been out there normally. It is also posted at town hall outside the clerk's office. The application and the plans? Not the application and the plans. You should have, if you're in a butter, um, yeah. I don't see the butters list. You would have been, you mm -hmm. would have, unless you're in a butter to in a butter. You're not, you're no. a direct butter. Yeah. yeah. You guys should have gotten yeah. notification. Well, she did. She I she did. That's the letter. only thing I received. You did, you did get it. And that. I've been in touch with Lisa, and she was going to post it on the website for me. Yeah, Lisa's, the reason Lisa's not here, I apologize, she's sick. Yeah. Um, Other than that, I would have come to town hall, you know, I would have come. Uh, this this is so you were waiting for a issue. copy of the application mm -hmm. yes. from Lisa? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. 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 
That's valid. Thank Thank you. I'm John Barrett. I reside at 21 Railroad Ave. Um, can you explain the parking further? I was out back there and I, you know, I counted the spots in the rear of the building. So you're going to go up in the back of the building, you're going to go from how many existing parking spots to how many? Um, so there's existing 15 back there. Um, we're looking to put, oh, this is the, that's the rear setback. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. There's, uh, so there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we're looking to do one, two, three. I mean, it, we're adding seven, so I believe that the seven's here. I don't think there's much uh, room for expansion over here, so we're starting to pull this down in here. How many American barbecue vehicles are currently stored there? Uh, I'm not sure. Two. And two One, trailers. Two. Uh, the trailers, those are going to be moved. Those will be gone. Well, yeah, part of this plan is to get the storage capacity in the basement, so we, no, we I can don't, remove you those. No, where would the waste facilities be? Dumpsters? That kind of thing? Um, it, it's not this board that we do that with, uh, but I did throw it on here. Uh, this is what we're proposing here. Um, I'm also working with a consultant of mine, um, uh, Dan Ottenheimer from No River, who's uh, kind of working with us as a consultant to put together the, the planning component of this. Um, and he may have a better location for it, but <coughs> right now there's a good chunk of land back in here. It's access from the, um, um, uh, from, from the pavement, so, or the, uh, the parking area. Uh, so we have some spots there. Has it been surveyed? Uh, yes, yep, by uh, uh, Donahoe and Parkhurst. Is it currently marked as it? Um, uh, I yes. believe there is, yeah. Did they survey the back line? Yes, the whole property. And this, this mark is I can look at tomorrow? Uh, I believe so, be. yeah. Yeah, I mean, should be typically do. I came and saw you. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> now, there's also a residential property there. There's no taking into consideration of the two cars that are always parked there. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're taking consideration to everything. The, there's existing 36 spots that we've added, as many as we could, seven. Um, this is, I don't know, I'm not even sure I should be answering these. Usually you have to go through the board. Well, well, I, well I, in, in an effort to respond yeah. on his behalf, yeah. questions relating to parking uh, associated with, with and the use of the parking and a lot line of that side, do fall under the purview of the planning board, and you know that if you if you want to try to beat them up there, that's where you want to beat mm -hmm. them up. I don't want. And, and I just it's and, a it's and, a very crowded space. And, and, and uh, well, I appreciate that, <laughs> um, but it's not within our purview. So, it, from a discussion point of view, while I appreciate you wanting to explore it, um, it's it doesn't enter into any component of our thought process. So we're here. If, if, if I may, we're here to, this is one step along the pathway, so we're here to get um, uh, approval to, for, for the uh, extension of a nonconformity and the extension of the uh, front setback here. We believe it's in keeping with the intent of the bylaws because, again, we're, we're really 60 feet away from the street edge, so that, that buffer is there, um, so it's not really a density issue, but by the letter of the law, uh, the property line is here. So. We want to, in full disclosure, just you know, make sure that you guys agree with that. Um, that's really the reason why we're here. An approval here allows us to take the next step and get into the planning board, uh, where we discuss parking, surface drain, all that stuff. And so I wasn't trying to dodge your question. I was just that's fine. Yeah. I don't see how that could be supported in such a small lot. That is very, very tight. Well, we're not really adding uh, a, a tremendous amount. It's a fairly modest. Um, um, we're actually taking away a portion of the building and replicating <coughs> it as a bar. So we're, we're, we are adding square, uh, square footage. We're making the building bigger. Um, the septic system allows us to get the 125 people in there. But um, essentially, we're not really changing the use. We're just giving it a different, um, different component to it. The, what's what's now kind of a function hall and probably could seat just as many people in it is now turning over to a bar and a significant portion of that area is taken up by the bar space um, so the seating in here really hasn't changed so it's kind of our approach here that we're not adding significant uh, we are making a hopefully a nicer destination and hopefully people are going more 
in terms of where you maybe eat once. Um, you know, I'm sure Steve would love it if you ate there seven days a week. You know, um, so we're trying to make it a more attractive place to go, but we're not really increasing the the um, uh, significantly the amount of seats in, in the, the restaurant, and if we can't. Uh, the septic system's pr um, putting a, a stop to that. Now, will this be a function hall, or is this restaurant? No, it's going to maintain uh, the same exact American barbecue that exists today. It's just going to have a bar component. And correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, you do offer beer now, right? And you do have a beer and wine, and we have a full license. He has a full liquor license. So, again, we're not really significantly changing the function of this. We're really just adding some space, which allows a nicer bar. We're making it nicer, and we're upgrading it. That's essentially what we're doing. And the building you're tearing down, we're tearing down, is used somewhat as a function. Yeah room right now for 30 to 40 people so well I, I just think of the neighbor the neighbors that have to, to that have to deal with that um, there's still a lot of kids on that street that get on a bus um, there's traffic lights lights shining in your living room and they're trying to get out of the parking lot you know the and the noise from the fans and it's it's not it's not pleasant. I think that's why, and I'll speak for Steve here, I think that's why we, we made an effort to go, I know I'm, I'm sure we're regretting not approaching yeah, you. alcohol and cornhole. The, and back, of the, uh, the back of the building is uh, where you're at, and sorry we didn't, we didn't approach you. It was our intent to, to talk to all of our, our you know, neighbors, and we did the ones that will be most affected with it, across the street, directly across the street, the neighbor to this right here. So was our intent not? We're not trying to hide anything here. We're being no, as open I understand. I just didn't know anything about it, so it's just a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> for you. But the, actually, the people that are most going to be most um, uh, impacted is it, are, the, are the neighbors that we did approach, um, and actually got signs off on on all of them. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Those are the ones that, if there were lights shining, um, they'd be shining across the street in this neighbor right here. Those are the ones that we talked to. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Just some quick questions. Um, Greg Lynn, 374 Main. Food is good. Thank you. <laughs> but That's undisputable. Going to a full bar now, are we increasing our hours? The, the hours uh, would be increased uh, maybe during the week to uh, one hour. Or two. We usually close at nine. Maybe we'll be closing at ten. Weekends, one hour more. But beyond that, we won't be. Okay. Yeah. Because our concern is the bikes coming out of there. Right. Yeah, you know, like they're, they're crazy sometimes. Yeah. It's like they're racing out of there. Every, every and that's way, a tough intersection. Every but there's a lot of bikes out there. I just yeah. see going to a full bar would be an issue. Yeah. And, and Steve, you, you don't um, do breakfast, right? You no. put, what time do you open up? 11, 11.30. 11.30, yeah. yeah. So um, that really helps, too, with, with morning people pulling in and out. Right. Um, so, yeah. And there'll be no change in lighting? No change in lighting. Right. No, we're staying within the... <coughs> There's certain, uh, All right, so again, the next step would be the planning board, right. and that's where they control lighting, okay. uh, surface. It, we're going to go over, you know, uh, what the, the pavement or, or gravel surfaces of the parking, where the storm art is going to go, lights, signs, all that stuff, mm -hmm. uh, plantings, all that stuff will be in there. So do you intend to expand the park, parking lot? Uh, yep, we're showing uh, seven additional spaces there. I haven't all across the back. I haven't, yeah, but we haven't selected a uh, material yet, so we don't know if uh, I'm. I'm actually going to wait. I'm not prepared to present this stuff to you guys today. Um, we're trying to maximize the amount of spaces there so that we can support the uh, uh, the patrons. Um, what about supporting next the round? We'll, we'll try to. What about supporting the neighbors? Sorry for one second. Let me finish them and then I can answer. Um, we haven't decided materials yet, so uh, and that will be another investigation on, on what, what's the best for the site. So uh, I'm used to having to go through the board to yeah. talk to them. Is that the way you guys do things? So yeah, that's fine. Okay, yes, I've, I've done it loosely too. Did, did you have a question that I could answer? No, I just you know you're supporting the patrons, but you also have to support the community and the neighbors that that live with this every day. I mean, I, I think it's a testament. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback that Steve's really, uh, you know, taken a, a restaurant. I didn't eat it. I didn't know the restaurant before it was American Barbecue. From what I've, from what I've heard, Steve's taken it to a, another level now. Um, and 
far as I, I, I'm concerned, uh, most of his neighbors consider him a good neighbor. So I think we did take into account, and it was certainly our intention to take into account the neighbors. Uh, he wants us to be a, the neighbors are the, are the ones that go to this bar. So he wants to be a good uh, neighbor. He wants to be a good fixture within the community. So. Um, yeah, I just I see I hear bar and I think of people sitting in there having a few drinks, playing cornhole, then getting in their car and driving with all the kids in the neighborhood. Well, you know, it's not the right spot. No, no, okay, well, yeah. okay. Uh, if I may add, um, when when he uh, opened the restaurant, there wasn't a condition on it, an original condition that when he originally opened that the um, the alcohol would be served with a meal. And he hasn't he hasn't forced that that condition. He has met it, and, um, and I don't I don't see anybody coming out of there uh, drunk or anything like that. And I also remind you that the state alcoholic commission has really clamped down on uh, businesses that uh, that overserve uh, people who drink too much. And so um, like I said so far I he's conformed. To the, ben to the benchmark that I think I originally con uh, brought the compromise up on, and, and um, it's been enforced, and uh, he has signs all over the place. So I, uh, I don't see when it comes to the uh, to alcohol, I don't see a problem. Hey, our, our mother owns a house adjacent to the back, so we have a different point of view because everything is pushed out back. The trash is out back. Stuff is stacked there right now that's property of the restaurant, and it's, it's on my mother's property, I believe. You know, I'm going to look tomorrow, I'll be down, you know, if you're going to be there, then you can point out the markers to me. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, if they're not there, you know, it looks to me like the dumpster is possibly on my mother's mm -hmm. property. There's definitely some other stuff that kind of originated from the restaurant that's stacked there. So everything gets funneled out to the back. People's trash, you know, we're going to put seven more cars out there. So, I mean... <clears throat> well, the cars will be within the property line, and there's a buffer strip there yeah, too. I, so I, I see that. So anything saying, being proposed tonight you know, people is people with trash, people with you know, this stuff, the stuff from the restaurant that's out there right now that I don't, I don't believe is on, on his property. Mm -hmm. So you've got the trailers, you know, and I, I don't see how there's 36 spots there now. I mean, I've counted, <coughs> ones, counted the ones in the back. So you're saying there's 36 currently? That's what we counted. <clears throat> is that any of those motorcycle? No. There's 36 car spots there. Yes, from what I've counted. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, have you been down to view it in person? The I, have, I have not been down recently. Okay. Uh, but I have. I think a picture's worth a thousand I have, words. <laughs> I, have, I have been in the American Barbecue and I have been, was, have been in it when it was East End yeah. Fish Market. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, <coughs> I'm Nancy Glenn, 374 Main Street. I just have two questions. Um, I'm kind of ignorant about the building. So, when you're saying you're increasing the building, are you increasing the whole building itself, the physical structure, one third more than what the building is, or? What, roughly a quarter. We're, 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 um, we have to stay with the, under a quarter of the building, 25%, and we're, we're pretty close to that. So whatever the quarter. building is now, you're going to make it one-fourth bigger, mm -hmm. plus outside seating, more outside seating? Well, the, the, the land exists there. It's, right. it's, a, it's a side yard property. Um, uh, we're proposing to put a fence up and use that for, for outdoor seating. That's, I mean, that's, that was their goal to do it. Mm -hmm. They thought it was a nice feature. Um, it's a good way to keep the, the, the yard looking clean. Um, uh, so yeah, that, that was our intention. It just seems like doing one, you know, 25% more and then you're doing the outdoor seating. Now you're even increasing it a little bit more. Um, you're going a little higher. It looks like, to yeah. me with the red roof, like an asylum, are we going to be looking at a barn? You know, is that uh, well, what the architect is? Raleigh, but, um, uh, no, I, I don't believe we're talking aesthetics today, and, and I don't agree that, that the exterior is, first of all, the 25% is building, 
uh -huh. it, it's for building. The exterior space doesn't, um, uh, in any bylaw or any regulation, constitute a building. Uh, I guess there is a question about the, the front porch that was more of a, a way to give it uh, kind of a more residential feel. Mm -hmm. It was more of an aesthetic thing than anything, and we thought it would be nice to offer. Um, that was actually um, my office's uh, kind of contribution to it. We thought it would be nice to have the ability on a nice day to go out and eat your, your meal outside um, there. They were receptive to the idea, but I don't think it's uh, something that needs to happen. But I, I don't agree that we're increasing the building. It's, it's, a, it's a level area, which is now a, a ramp. The majority of it is a ramp and a planting bed. So it's not a structure, it's not a roof, um, it's not going to look like a volume, and neither is the, the backyard porch. Uh, the 25% increase is from the bylaws, and it's speaking stri strictly to enclosed finished space. So um, it, we're not, that wouldn't get taxed regardless of what the outcome is. The other thing is, that what is this <coughs> game thing? Like now you've got a bunch of, is it open to just restaurant people, or are we going to have kids no, it, coming it in only, and playing there all the time? No, what, no, is it inside, outside? It, it's outside and it's enclosed within um, the, the property so you would need to be a patron to, to take part of it and it's you know the other thing too you got to remember too this is really a seasonal thing you're only talking they're they're going to use this maybe three months out of the year four months out of the year they're not going to be out there and and in the outside during the day as well. yeah. yeah and it's during the day as well i mean it gets we're loud though hmm? it gets loud i agree it does get loud between the cars, the motorcycles, and, and sometimes the people get loud. You hear a lot of slamming car doors. So you know, so it is part of the noise coming from there. Sure. I hear it, and I'm, I'm diagonal, and nobody came to my house either. I just <coughs> want you to know. Nobody came to I know I'm not a direct butter, but I am diagonal. And if I didn't have my trees, I'd be looking straight at you guys. So, <laughs> we, uh, so we, we, obviously we can't go to I know. the entire town of Raleigh and, and say we're going to I understand you know, that. I door. just want yeah. other people to know that nobody approached me either. I yeah. just got that one little letter. So, so the pockets watch are counting. Are some of those not even on his lot? I'm just counting the swatch. It doesn't look like there's that many on that you even get on that existing diagram. But <laughs> five in the front are those on. These are all existing, and these are all existing right now, and um, not there within their property line. Uh, actually, these aren't uh, on the front, the front street. They're existing. That's what it is now. So it's existing, but it's not on his property. His property line is here. Um, part of it is, but part of it uh, goes out to the street. And there's a planting bed here that you maintain, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is not technically on his property too, but he maintains it. I, and this is actually a, a pretty common. Uh, this, this this is a pretty common. So how does that affect the seating? Does it, is the seating of the laws about the, the requirements for parking as it pertains to the seating requirements? Does that count parking spots that are basically on the road? Um, plan, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The, the <laughs> planning department so. has no, ratios that they look at. That it's all up to the planning board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just it just looks like you're like. Because I count them, there wasn't that many. Enough. All, all we're sure. really dealing, with, all we're really dealing with tonight, is the frontage setback, which is in the twenty-five percent right. increase. And uh, and this allows us, depending on what the outcome is, allows us to take the next step where all the, all these other issues would be addressed. I think the only question I have, Mr. Chairman, is um, as it relates to this evening, um, I, I think all the questions you've brought up are exactly what Chairman Thurston just said. Th these are, are relevant subjects for the planning board. You know, noise, light, parking, access. You know, if, if there's some question that you want to voice about the impact of that on that property, they're the board who can actually say, okay, fellas, you can have that deck there, but you can only put three chairs on it, and nobody can sit out there. You know, we're not going to let it look like you can add more people. 
and fellas, you can have gaming out along the side of the structure, but you can't have 40 people futzing around out there walking around with drinks. We're not going to allow that kind of stuff. They can restrict those kinds of things. We can't. As Don said, we're just looking at, one, what's the issue with the setback? Um, and we have to make a judgment call on that. And I'm going to suggest that as it's not, while it's not egregious, it's about a dozen feet, I'd like to see it on the street. So I'm going to suggest we have a site visit to actually go see it, number one. Number two, um, as long as they're within 25%, they're well within their right to expand the property up to that size. And they appear, you know, able to demonstrate that. So our board would not have an issue with that. If they were looking for 40%, we'd say, okay, time out. That doesn't work. Um, so that's all we can do here tonight. But I, I'm not ready to make a decision on this tonight. Are you? No. I hate to disappoint you. But <laughs> if I can add one thing to that, too. I think the first stop... The easiest stop would be to actually talk to, to Mr. Piero. Um, that, and, and from every account that I've seen, he's more than willing to talk to his neighbors. So that might be the most direct route there, and, and, and have a conversation with him. What are your plans here? What are you doing? And if I'm sure he will convince you that we're trying to do right by the town of Raleigh, by the neighborhood, um, and you know, to provide a, a good amenity to the town. Excuse me, to the town, not you know, so not, not jam something in there that's going to that's not going to work. So where is the septic system currently? Um, not prepared to answer that tonight. Right. The, the septic system is being handled by um, uh, by Chuck Johnson, um, who's an extremely gifted septic designer, um, and he's gone through, assessed the existing septic system, has uh, petitioned the state and the town, and <coughs> is... Uh, um, to upgrade it? No, nope, it, nope, we're going we're, yeah, we're to keep the existing septic system there. It's in good shape, and we're planning to use it. We've ex we've asked for an increase. They've granted our increase, um, and that's a, all we can hope to do. So you're available tomorrow if I want to walk the bus? Yes. Right. Yeah. What time? Uh, <coughs> exchange numbers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay. We're going to. Uh, uh, Continue. Uh, I will accept the motion. To continue this hearing till April, uh, and also between that time we will conduct a site visit so we can actually see where the lot line is and so forth and whatnot. Can I ask a question too? Because I think you're asking also for some um, additional information uh, mm -hmm. to prove the 25%. Um, can I ask how how you'd like that? I would just like to see the dimensions of the current structure. Um, pretty much the way you have it drawn out on the left. I, I just like to see all the dimensions so that I can see where you came up with 24%. I need to see how you came up with. It looked to me, I saw I don't see it here tonight, and maybe it was on another copy. I thought I saw a number that said the current footprint is like 3,600 square feet or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay? That, that, that number you have there. Um, I'd like to see how that number, 3,600 square feet, was arrived at. And then, you know, I mean, you're right. To scale, you can go in there and measure and, and play that game. I don't want to play that <laughs> game. I want you to tell me things. So that the numbers can, so that I can point to it. That's what that's all. So if I submit to you a uh, drawing that dimensions this entire footprint, yep. so that you can go mathematically do it, yep. um, and, and come up with that number, uh, and then do the same thing for for this. Right. Right. Okay. Right. right. No, right. It, it looks from the back of the building. It looks as though the back of the building is for refrigerated goods or refrigerated. <coughs> Does your diagram include that? Yes. So you, that's counted towards that square feet that he's talking about? If it's, it's a structure, yeah. It's yeah. Enclosed. If it's part of the footprint, if it's attached and accessible to the property, to the back of the building. Is, is, the, is it a walk-in cooler or something? Yes, yes. Yeah. Accessible from only outside or inside? Inside. Inside. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 
Yeah, that's that's what we're looking for. Yep. for that. That's all. Just a little. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, I'm waiting for a motion. Uh, so moved. Second. Okay. Motion's been made to conduct a site visit and continue this hearing until April 19th. If any of you would like an actual copy of the application, if you contact um, Ms. Lazi, our admin assistant, she'll be in the office again on Monday. She's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 1.30 or 4.30. We normally don't actually post each and every application online. Um, the bylaws are certainly there. But if you reach out to her, give her a call, she will get, she'll email you a copy of the application okay. so that you can have that, you know. If the email's not possible, she'll hard copy mail you a copy, but it's certainly available. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Would, would it be, um, okay. would it be helpful if I were okay. out there? Hold on. On your site? What, when, when? On your site visit? Yeah, we'll be in touch with you. Okay. Okay. All right, we're here. You've made the motion. Uh, and it's been seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We will continue this, meet, this hearing till April 19th. We're okay. done for tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. If, if you want to contact me and if you feel like it's helpful for me to be there, sure. I can I can arrange to do that. Yeah, we'll we'll work it so that you know we can all be there. Okay. Sure. We'll, we'll have to arrange the time between as many of us as we can. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.